a two-year horticulture program. And so our students learn a lot of general stuff. They learn everything from turf grass to uh, pavers to water features. Um, and part of it is also landscape design. So all of our students do a landscape design class. Commercial, now you're dealing with large spaces. You have to now analyze where's the flow of traffic? What do you use this space for? What are the views different? What are you trying to um, highlight? Is it a business? Is it a sign? Are you trying to get people safely from here to there? A lot of times we're dealing with committees that could have uh, as few as three people. Some we've had as big as 12 or 15. And so you're dealing with a lot of different people, a lot of different inputs. Um, so that's the main difference, not just scope and size, but uh, the people that you deal with. Most of my projects come by people just calling to college. I've been doing this for 13 years, and oddly enough, I, I'm never scuffling for a project. I always have one or two people that call. This project, which involved the St. George um, Courthouse and uh, the Quick Job Center, could our students help them cut costs by providing them a landscape design? Oddly enough, it had come to our attention like the week I was arranging the project. To date, by far, uh, the best project we've ever had. Starting at the ground level and going up. So um, that was one of the great experiences for the students because when they came in for the preliminary interview um, they sat down you know in this prep room and uh, these engineers sat down and they really got a feel for what this whole process feels like on that level um, and that was the main thing is let's get a feeling of, pro of professionalism here whereas some of the earlier classes we just kind of were very relaxed but that's one of the reasons for this class is to kind of crank things up. They're working now with a commercial project, not a homeowner's house, where they've got the entrance, front yard, backyard, side yard, which has elements that are different than a commercial project. So for this one, we were dealing with 13, 15 acres or something like that. This is a very large project. So now they got to look at scope. Not only that, this project wasn't built yet. So when we met on site, uh, there was nothing for them to see and walk around. It was all conceptual. So they had to visualize what they were going to be doing. Um, the interview took place, was very professional with the engineers on site. What we tend to incorporate is a couple different design programs. One of them is an Im imaging program and what that is you take a picture of a site and you basically drop in plant materials, paving materials, water features, whatever. We can even make uh, lighting appear in a picture. So you can have this, here's what it looks like now and then what it's going to look like when I'm done. So they work really hard at developing an imaging program. Um, we also do uh, spreadsheets using an Excel so they can build their estimates that way. We use a lot of Word to create proposals. They do PowerPoints to get the present. So we're dealing with five, sometimes six different programs. The students can come out and they can do their own design and estimate it with software. So they're very employable or functional if they've got their own company from that respect. And then the presentation was just off the charts. They had to a approach this from a very professional level. And some of the feedback I got afterwards was that was one of the best presentations I've ever seen. Rehearsals And the fact that some of these guys, uh, just the improvement was unbelievable when I see them just uh, do so well after I've seen them struggling when they first start.